Uh, a raspberry flower. Raspberries have both female and male parts on the same flower, which is handy. But there's also a good chance of self fertilization, which we don't want in the crossing program. So, um, in order to emasculate the, the right parts of the flower anatomy, uh, we've got to understand which uh, which bits of the flower are which. So in here we've got the green parts are the sepals around the outside and of course the little white petals which attract your pollinators and then in the centre we've got a collection of female parts that's the pistil with the ovules, style and stigma which receives the pollen and fertilises the the flower, and round the outside with a kind of creamy yellow colour, we've got the pollen itself in the anthers, which forms part of the stamen, which is the male part of the flower. We emasculate the flower buds uh, that look like they were, they're just a day away from opening, and we estimate where about the, the, the male parts are, and we cut into the flower using a scalpel don't want to cut into the female parts, but we don't want to leave any male parts on either. And there we're left with the pistol with the female parts. And in here are all the male parts of the flower, which we'll discard. So in raspberry we prefer to use dried pollen, it seems to work best for us. Uh, in other soft fruit crop, crops they use fresh pollen. So what we do is we dry out the open flowers for a couple of days to get the source of pollen from our pollen parent. And we just use petri dish and just tap it to release the pollen. And just Nothing technical or fancy, just conventional breeding techniques. We use the brush to pick up the pollen. And we then brush pollen across the end of the pistols.